City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. Oh, Great. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Okay, so today is a very big day here at Wendy. Just because it's Thursday. <laughs> Junior Friday. The weekend relieves us. Hey. Say what's up to my guest DJ, Vic One. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, Wendy? Boof is still my main guy. But Boof was on a plane coming back from someplace. And you know what? I, I want to mix it up. So I know Big Boy, Big Boy's Neighborhood on 92.3 in LA. So I say to Big Boy, uh, you know, I called him up, bring. Uh, look, I know that Vic One is your DJ on your morning show. Big Boy is like a, a national treasure. <clears throat> Friend to the show. I, we've been friends for decades. Anyway, so I said, do you think you can give Vic a day off to come and, you know, DJ and do his thing. And so uh, he was like, yeah. So I call Vic, he answers the phone, then I pass everything over to the show and they make it all happen. Uh, so far, so good, Vic? So far, excellent. Everybody's been nice to you? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what do you think about my co-host and, uh, and all this? <laughs> this is amazing. You know, I left L.A. I was on the first thing smoking out of L.A. I came to New York, just popped in. This is amazing, Wendy, amazing. Thank you, Vic. <laughs> and the only thing I left him with was be prepared for loudness and dress the part. And you know I like a good sneaker. Yeah. Vic. Oh, okay. Classic Jordan there. Yeah. So what I got on today is we got the Jordan Concord 11. Uh-huh. One of my favesies right here. I know you're a big Jordan head. You're yep. so Wendy. So uh, we have to pull it out the stash and make it special for the show today. You know Thank what I mean? Thank you, Vic. Thank you. Love it or not? Anywho. I've got a whole lot to reveal to you today, but first I want to talk about, <laughs> other than my shoulders. Right? Suzanne, it's the only thing that doesn't gain weight. The you shoulder. Know what I, yeah, mm -hmm. like when all else fails, yep. give them the shoulder, exactly. girls. Exactly, sexy. Mm -hmm. You look sexy. I feel sexy. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, um, did you catch the train with the bed bugs? I thought about you. Only in New York we know this. The Forest Hill train had bed bugs. No! No! Yeah. No! You were on the train this morning? Yes! I, I, was, I stood, not, I was just with Brendan. I wasn't near too many people. So I don't think I caught anything. Are they like jumping off of people? I've never gotten a bed bug, but from what I understand, bed bugs, they jump like lice. They jump. Oh my God, I'm itching. I'm itching. Oh it was God. the train in Forest Hills. Yes. Oh my God. Clap if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. 
How is this your train and you know nothing? I know nothing. I didn't even know. I didn't sit down anywhere, if that makes, if it, that it could be in the bottom of your bell. <laughs> Crawling up your legs. Oh! Oh my God. And oh. you, know, you might need a modest stat. You know, after, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the most beloved woman on the face of the earth. There's not a person I know who doesn't either own or love Jessica Simpson. Oh. Right? So, so um, you heard, maybe you didn't. She First of all, she's got this book, this memoir, and she was gonna write it years ago, but she said that if she wrote it years ago, that she would have lied to us, like she wasn't ready to reveal her truth. You know, sometimes truth is something you need a beat to reveal. You know what I'm saying, Northman? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so in the book, and thank God she waited because she is an open book and that's what it's called, her new memoir, Open Book. She talks about her drug and alcohol addiction and being sexually molested by her seven-year-old friend when she was six during a sleepover. All right, we'll take it in parts. First of all, she says, <clears throat> there was a point where she needed a drink every single morning or she'd get the shakes. And then she really started to, to depend on alcohol while she was secretly dating John Mayer because she never thought intellectually she would rise to the occasion of having great conversation. Like, you know, she was dating a man who she thought was so smart that she had to drink to, I guess, become smarter. Which, <laughs> hey, Jessica, that's normally the opposite. <laughs> but, but, okay, and then, and then, um, she did a self-imposed rehab where she called all of the experts into her home and they dried her out. So she doesn't drink anymore and she's married to that really good looking guy, I forget his name, Eric Johnson. Uh, Eric Johnson, and they've got three beautiful kids and he gave up drinking for Jessica to support her and the kids are adorable and yeah. And she had a few private signs that she should give up drinking. The big one was when she went in for a tummy tuck and the doctor was like, okay, but um, you can't get a tummy tuck, you can't go under surgery because your liver is uh, like a piece of Swiss cheese. Oh. Doctor didn't say that, but I'm trying to be dramatic for you. I like, to, <laughs> I like for you to draw a picture in your mind. So Jessica was like, oh my gosh. And she realized she needed help three years ago on Halloween also. She went to her son's assembly at school, 7.30 in the morning, and she was bombed. Oh. <laughs> 7.30. Suzanne, don't act like you've never seen that. Uh. Now, you know, I used to live in the suburbs. Uh-huh. You see oh, something, yeah, so, yeah, acknowledge uh, something. Uh-huh, like, okay. I've seen it, uh-huh. Anyway, um, and then she was addicted to diet pills since she was 17 because oh. the man who's always at the middle of everything, Tommy Mottola, told her that she was fat. Wow. Now you remember Tommy Mottola was married to Mariah Carey yeah. and then helped make Jennifer Lopez a star over Mariah Carey just so Mariah be mad because Mariah escaped. Yeah. And now he's married to um, uh, Thalia. Thalia, Thalia. And I guess he's not up to that anymore because we never hear anything about them. What, oh, Norman? I don't know, I don't know. I don't hear anything, but you know. People don't change. <laughs> People can change. I know, I know, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We love Tommy. Oh? <laughs> we love Tommy, darling. Anyway, <laughs> um, remember when um, John Mayer, it, she writes about this in the book too, when John Mayer said she was sexual napalm, she said, I'm mortified. My parents are gonna read this. And there are only two women in our Hot Topics morning meeting and we're both similar in age and we are both like, there's no insult there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, like, clap if you'd be insulted if a man called you sexual napalm. <laughs> Norman said he'd be insulting, or insulted. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> By the way, I'm going on Jimmy Fallon tonight. 
and I like Jimmy a whole lot. I'm gonna be on there. Hi, hi Jimmy. <laughs> I've been on his show several times. Last time I was there was in 2018 and times before that and I've socialized with him and stuff. So he's a really easy conversationalist. Yeah. And we're gonna have a good old sit down. <laughs> All right, I wanna talk to you about something very, very serious. I've been going through this now for a moment and um, I would like to have a private conversation with you, okay? <laughs> Fartgate. <laughs> now, let me tell you something right now, okay? <clears throat> I do a lot here on this show. As a matter of fact, I might have invented a lot because now all other talk shows are, doing, are trying to do a lot, but I, this is just me, be, just Wendy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't lean over like this to release a fart. I'm leaning over like this because it's comfortable. You know, if I sit like this all the time, you know, it's heavy on my spine. I don't have the back. I'm not trying to get the back. I like to release my hips and lean. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? And if I shift my wig or I belch or rub my teeth, I've been doing this since the, for 11 years, okay, on this show. I have never farted once on this show. As a matter of fact, I barely fart, you know why? Because gas gets released several different ways and mine is belching because all I do is talk. Ooh. Excuse me. Anyway, it went viral and final, and I was like, no, because I would have made a big deal. Like if I farted, I would have definitely been the last, because farts are always funny. Um, just take a look at the clip and then I'm going to go more in depth. That cop wasn't playing that. I mean, you're lucky you only got battery. What if he filed for sexual assault? <laughs> okay, I just wanna make sure that you all are on board with this. Clap if you know about Fartgate. Okay, all right. Well, um, First of all, I went on with the story. Now, you know a girl like me would have been laughing at that. <laughs> Second of all, by the sound of that fart, I would have had to go change my costume. <laughs> I would have left an, uh, a mark in the seat. I wouldn't even save the costume. I would have thrown it away. It would probably be soiled beyond soiltivity. <laughs> um, what I suspect, because me and my manager, Bernie, we went over it, you know, probably, I'm like, Bernie, I gotta do Fartgate. And so he said, Wendy, I saw it, it's so stupid. Clearly, you know, there's somebody who superimposed the sound. And, I, and people do that all the time, you know what I'm saying. They, <clears throat> and then it goes viral and you know, whatever. So that's what's up with Fartgate. Although Norman says he's got another theory. I checked the tapes, the sound is there, it's not superimposed, but I promise to God, I promise to God, Wait, when that was happening. Wait, stop. Yeah. I would like to have a second person to weigh in on this. Okay. My trusty Steve, John Anderson. John, yeah. John, are you around? Yeah. Because John knows stuff. John, John, just stay right here. John. Yes, Wendy. You know I'm a whole bunch of fun. All right. And, and you know, I know how to get down and dirty. Right. There was no fart. Continue, no. Norman. Listen to what Norman is saying, and then, John, I want you to chime in. Come on closer <laughs> so you're in the screenshot. Okay. So during the show, there was like an incredible hissing noise. I didn't it was, hear a hiss. Right. You didn't hear it, but it was very distracting to me. Right. So I'm like in the control, I'm like, guys, there's a hissing noise. Like, what is that? It's like, it's, it sounds so, crazy, so, but so. Kate the chemist, was that here. was on Kate the Chemist Day. Okay, John. Right, so we were, we were doing a, a, an experiment out here with a, a tank, it's called air gas. And we didn't have the proper hose for it. So, so I'm doing hot topics the whole time, not realizing any of this chaos is going on. Right, so, so what this tank was supposed to do is we were filling up a fish tank backstage and we didn't have the proper hose. 
So in other words, when, when, when you drop like a piece of aluminum foil inside the tank, uh -huh. it's supposed to float in midair. Okay. So it wasn't working. Okay. Because we didn't have the proper hose and the air was just coming out and it was sputtering like somebody was farting. Oh my God. Okay? <laughs> so that's what it was. It wasn't Wendy. <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, you're welcome, Wendy. <laughs> But farting is funny. You know, I did a little research. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can give you a few facts about farts. Cause I apparently am not normal. They say the average human being farts between 14 and 26 times a day. No. I know. Clap if that's you, uh, be honest. Clap if that's. Now see, I was about to give you some rhythm during commercials, but you just turned me all the way off in the white shirt. That's you? I see three, uh, Suzanne. Uh, three, I don't know what team they play for. Do you play for my team? <laughs> I don't, they, they look like. They, they look like, yeah. right? Uh huh. Three they, strapping men uh -huh. in the front. Oh, uh -huh. and they look like they fart a lot. In new life, I'm not gonna fart in front of every, any man. No, no, no. No, 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 But no, if no. you gotta let it rip, you gotta let it no, rip No, 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 you don't. You hold oh, that, you oh. go in the other room. Oh. No, it, just in new life. No, you yeah. know, uh -huh. I'm not, no. There are a few different things that I've uh, redesigned, and okay. one of them is I will not fart in front of a man. I farted in front of Brendan first date. <laughs> and you've been married ever uh, since. Uh-huh. <laughs> Vic, are you still having a good time? I'm having a great time, and all, all I can say is pass that gas! <laughs> pass that gas! Yeah! Hey, so the Grammys are about to happen. You got, wait, first of all, you need to know that Vic is the house DJ for the hockey team, the... Um, Los Angeles Kings. Okay, yes. Yes. And also for the soccer team, the... Um, LA Galaxy. And also you used to be part of the... Uh, I'm still a part of the Los Angeles Chargers and I do a little bit of UCLA football as well. Okay. Slight okay. red, slight red. And now, and the Grammys are com coming up, so immediately after the show, you have to fly back to New York. Literally. Uh, uh, um, LA, cause what are you doing at the Grammys? So I have this super exclusive party I'm doing, super secretive, who's throwing it. It's in downtown, can't really name drop where it's at. Super bougie party going down. Uh, we're not having pizza and wings. This is super crab cakes, big steaks. Are you married? I am married, yes. What, what, be her? happy for me. What, 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 what? Be happy for me. I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay. I love my wife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love my wife. Okay. I love my son. It's just okay. Just checking. Just checking. <laughs> Will you be married tonight? Yeah, I'm still married. Yeah. Just checking. She's she's watching too. So you know what I mean. Yeah. Hi, baby. I love All you. right. Hi, Mrs. Vic. I like your husband. He's um, very talented. Anyway. So so look. Pam Anderson is now married for the fifth time. Oh. Mm -mm. I've always loved Pammy. We have a little boulevard here at the show named after her and Heather Locklear. There uh -huh. are a few different, like there are a few people that we revere so much around here that we have signs. You don't see them out here, but me and the crew, like, you, you know. Anyway, so Pam is 52 and she married the Hollywood producer, uh, uh, John Peters, he's 74. Well, they had a private ceremony. And Pam and John dated once back in the 80s after they met at the Playboy Mansion. That's them back in the 80s. John then proposed to Pam back then, but she turned him down because of the big age difference. See, I still find a very, very big age difference between even 52 and 74. Like I'm 55 and I don't see myself <laughs> with a 74 year old man. Not even if he was a count, not even, like I'm not ready to retire to that life yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, it's the fifth marriage for both of them. And uh, apparently they're very, very happy. You know, John produced Caddyshack and Flashdance and The Color Purple and A Star Is Born. 
And he used to be the go-to hairdresser in Hollywood. And you know, to hear Harvey Levin tell it, hi Harv, over at TMZ, he's been with a lot of beautiful girls, like, like, he, like everything with two legs, okay. Um, he says he could have had his pick of any woman in the world. Well, he's very confident. And, and apparently he's very rich. And his hair is very luscious. <laughs> and his foundation is perfect. <laughs> it kind of looks like foundation, doesn't it? <laughs> or maybe that's that Photoshopping thing or something. Anyway, he looks good. But he said for years, he's only wanted Pam. So everybody in our Hot Topics morning meeting was creeped out by that. <laughs> Except for me and Bookman, the other woman. Me and Book, I, 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 if you're watching and you've been looking at me for years, I wouldn't be insulted by that at all. Norman says that's the sign of the killer. <laughs> I don't think, like, he's been watching her for decades. Yes. It's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. it's, I, it's Suzanne, does that scare you? That's sexy. Uh huh. We saw that that video, you know, that uh, her with thing. Tommy yeah. Lee. And, yeah. Well, no, he he was with her before Tommy Lee. Oh, so okay. Maybe okay. Oh. she was sexual napalm. Yes. And, yes. and no matter who else that he was with, yes. he no, always think, closed yeah. his eyes and yes. thought about Pam. Yes. Sometimes that happens. I think it's very sweet that they're they're together. I finally. think so uh -huh. also. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, everybody, if you clap a little louder, we can proceed to give you what you need. Up next, we got the legal scoop on Harvey Weinstein's trial.